Today I'm reviewing knitting looms from Loops and Threads. This loom review is part of a series. I already reviewed the Zippy Loom. Um, today I'm reviewing these quick knit looms, the round ones and the long one. And later I'm going to review the boy loom. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd be happy if you click subscribe so I can try to help you with your loom knitting. Okay, so let's get started with this loom review. So these are the Loops and Threads knit quick round looms they come in a they come four in a pack this is the largest one and this is the second largest one the purple is the next size down and then comes the green one so if we take the largest loom and we look at the spacing between the center of one peg and the center of the next peg there's a space of 13 sixteenths of an inch so again from the center of one peg to the center of the next peg so let's look at the next size, and that's the one that I've got a project going on right now. For the orange one, there's three quarters of an inch between um, between pegs. And for the purple one, it's 11 sixteenths of an inch. For the this cute little one, um, the green one, it's five eighths of an inch. So it's, a, it's uh, an even tighter weave, of course. So I'll show you a couple of examples of what I've made so far on these looms. On this pink one, I made a lot of blanket squares, um, which later became a patchwork blanket using the garter stitch. Um, took me forever, but I'm super proud of this project. I'm actually going to link to it above. This is my first ever loom knit hat, and I made it on the pink loom. On the orange one, I'm making some seed stitch squares for a blanket. For the purple one, I haven't used it yet. Um, but for the green one, I've made this like cute little hat. So because of that garter stitch patchwork blanket that I had made, I feel like I know these looms pretty well. And I can tell you, I just love how the, your hook just glides when you want to, um, bring your hook downwards or upwards over the peg. It makes the knitting experience um, so pleasant and so smooth. So let me do a few knit stitches and purl stitches just to give you an idea of how it feels to work with this uh, particular loom. Um, so that's my knit stitch and then I'm going to do a purl stitch. Um, as you can see, it's just so easy. Um, it's very enjoyable. There are no snags. It's just a really nice experience with um, no interference from the design. So I totally, I totally love this loom. So now let's look at their long loom, or it could be known as a double rake or even a board loom. It's for people who want to do some double knitting. So for the space between the center of one peg to the space between the center of the next peg, there is a space of 11 sixteenths of an inch. So I'm just gonna quickly do some double knitting with the figure eight stitch to give you an idea of how this loom feels to work with. And if you'd like to try this figure eight stitch and you don't know how to do it yet, I'm going to link to a tutorial above. In the tutorial, I'm using the zippy loom, but it's the same thing. So I'm knitting over here and it feels, it feels good. It feels easy. Um, I do have a tidy wish that it could, that the pegs were a little bit taller just because I'd like to use bigger yarn. Um, but other than that, I think it's really great. I also want to show you a scarf, one of many scarves that I've made on this particular loom um, using that figure eight stitch. Um, so I've really gotten a lot of great use out of this particular loom. Okay, so now to recap the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, the good is that it's very solid, it's well designed, and it's easy to knit on. The bad is that for me personally, sometimes I wish the pegs were a bit taller. Um, and the ugly, well, there is no ugly. It's just a really awesome loom that I totally recommend. So this is the end of this loom review video. If you have any comments about your experience with your knitting loom, please feel free to comment or ask any questions. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, um, please do so so I can keep trying to help you with your loom knitting.